Hey, what is up, everybody? I am here to give you guys a video today, but before I start off talking about what I want to talk about, I want to make a little bit of an apology because, um, instead of, um, because I'm on school vacation, obviously, I actually am going back to school next week, and uh, I wanted to use this time wisely to get videos up, um, and make this the number one priority, um, but it's like, it didn't even happen at all. I don't really think I got any videos up I really wanted to get up. Um, like, I guess I did somewhat, but I uh, still ended up being pretty behind. I am going to try still, um, at least while I was still am in school, um, to get those videos up. So I guess I don't really know what happened. I guess I went into school vacation mode. Um, because I was, I've been sleeping in till like 1 lately. I actually stayed up last night till like 8 o'clock in the morning this morning and get up till like 4. So, um, this is just on me, really. Um, I think I need to, really need to start getting my shit together so that way I can get these videos up. I got a book I want to read, which I probably won't finish before I go back to school. I have a lot of shit that I want to do, and I am going to do it, um, but it just didn't end up happening because I, uh, just kind of slacked off a little bit. So uh, I'm going to start getting back on track with these um, videos. Um, I don't know what happened really. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I am going to try to start getting some videos up. But hopefully too, once I get back on to school, I'll be on somewhat of a schedule. So that way I can start making these videos again. Because that's actually what kind of keeps me in tune with life. Is if I have something to keep me in a schedule like work, school kind of what happened so uh now that i've talked about that let's talk about nxt so like i talked about um i um i'm well i'm, at, I'm really four weeks behind but i have three nxt reviews i'm gonna do and then um i'm gonna review the current one and tna from like last week um with um james and everybody else on the aftershock corner which you can check out right up here um just because of the fact that uh It'd be easy. I don't know if we're going to do that hangout tonight or whatever, but we're going to have to wait and see. So, so um, let's start it off. So, uh, NXT, so obviously this is three weeks ago. So, this week, so this NXT took place on uh, December 23rd, 2015. Uh, we had Rich Brennan, Corey Graves, and Byron Saxon on commentary for this show. And obviously this was filmed when they were still in London. Um, film on the NXT TakeOver London show, so these matches happened before London happened, um, but they, 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 they aired it, um, a week later, so I actually like that, uh, this was a nice way, um, I like that they split it up into parts instead of making it, like, three hours, it's actually a nice change, um, so we get the first match on the show. It's a uh, fatal four-way tag team match. It's the Vaughn Villains versus the Hype Bros versus Blake and Murphy with Alexa Bliss inside versus Jason Jordan and Chad Gable. Uh, the crowd really loved Jason Jordan and Chad Gable. They didn't really give too much of a shit about the Hype Bros or Blake and Murphy. They just didn't really give a shit about them. They didn't really pop for them. They didn't really like the Hype Bros really at all. Uh, but the heels, I think, in this match were really the Vaughn Villains and obviously Blake and Murphy. Um... And uh, the Vaughn villains even came out, I forgot to mention, as um, um, Sherlock Holmes, which was cool. Um, and I thought this was a good eight-man tag team match here. I really enjoyed it. The uh, Vaughn villains and uh, Blake and Murphy get the heat on Jason, J on, not J on Chad Gable for a while. And um, everybody was chanting for Chad Gable. They were chanting, save the Gable. Uh, so I thought that was cool. And, um, really solid Fatal 4-Way Tag Team match here. Jason Jordan and Chad Cable got the victory when they hit, uh, the finish, the double team finish where Jason Jordan throws him up and then, uh, Chad Cable catches him into a back suplex. I forget who he did it on, but they won with that. And I thought it was a really good solid tag team match. And I do see Jason Jordan and Chad Cable becoming the new number one contenders and eventually winning the NXT Tag Team Championships. Um... So, overall, a really good matchup here. Uh, I thought it was a nice way to open the show. Uh, then we get Dana Brooke and Emma backstage. And a lot of this show, they showed footage from, like, stuff that they took on WWE.com. And um, Emma's all heard from a match with Asuka. 
And uh, Dana Brooke says, when I get my hands, it says, no more playing nice. When I get my hands on Oscar, I'm going to. And then Oscar pops up and says, oh, Emma and Dana pats Dana on the head. And then uh, when she leaves, Dana Brooke says, Emma, is she gone? And she's like, yes. It's like, good, because I would have destroyed her. Um, so I thought this was an okay segment here. And then it shows a return video package for Sami Zayn because he's returning tonight. And it shows a live NXT, um, a video package for the NXT tour they took in uh, London. I think they showed this uh, at TakeOver, but I'm just putting it up again. And then uh, Ty Dillinger's backstage, and he's the one that's facing Sami Zayn tonight. And um, he says that Sami Zayn is not going to come back because he's a perfect 10. And he's not going to fall for any of his shenanigans or something like that. And then we get, the, we get another Elias Sampson video package. Um... Pretty much it's the same thing, except he talks about how he's the drifter and all that stuff. It was I'm still not a huge fan of his gimmick. I just don't really think it's gonna go anywhere. Um, like we talked, like I talked about before on the Master Soy Wrestling Corner, which you can click up here to subscribe to. Um, I just don't. It just this doesn't really translate into wrestling, really. I don't really know what this is gonna do. I I don't really see this going anywhere. Um, so then um, Baron Corbin's backstage, and since he he says since he beat Apollo Crews last week, he is now the he's calling himself the rightful number one contender to the NXT Championship. Um, and then we get Bo Dempsey versus Elias Sampson. Um, obviously, Elias Sampson comes out with the guitar now, um, which he's done before, but this is the first time they've really kind of brought it up because this is the first time they've really done anything with this gimmick. I mean, they act like he never had this gimmick before, but he did. He's had it before. He just had it in squash matches. Um, I didn't really care much about this. The crowd was really dead for this match, and Elias Sampson wins with an elbow drop. I think he's going to need a new finish. Maybe he'll get one. Um, and I'm just not really a huge fan of his gimmick. I don't really see this translated into professional wrestling. Um... And I just don't really think it's that good of a gimmick, so we're gonna have to wait and see what they do with this. Uh, maybe it could get maybe it could get over because there were, there have been gimmicks in wrestling that f at first weren't that great, and then eventually they got over. So maybe that will happen. Then afterwards, the mechanics get interviewed and they talk about how they uh since they beat um. Enzo and Moy and Colin Cassidy, they put up a good fight, but they still walked out champions. They're ready for the next challenges to, to face him for the NXT Tag Team titles, which I predict will be Jason Jordan and Chad Gable. And then it shows another Sami Zayn video package. Uh, then we get the main event, Ty Dillinger versus Sami Zayn. I thought this actually was a pretty good main event here. Um, Ty Dillinger looks pretty strong in the matchup. Um... And Sami Zayn obviously has a buzz cut now, and I thought Sami Zayn looks good in this matchup as well. And um, the match, and and Ty Dillinger hit a wicked super kick on Sami Zayn, it looked, looked really cool. And it was really cool to see Sami Zayn come back, because um, I think NXT and the WWE have definitely missed Sami Zayn. Um, he brings that energy and that charisma factor to him that I definitely like to see again. And I've missed Sami Zayn on NXT, I thought he was great. Um, and he wins with the Haluva kick. And afterwards, he cuts a promo talking about um, how he's back. Um, and he says that uh, he's wait he can't wait to see um, what the future holds for NXT um, in 2016 and what the future holds for himself. And then that was it. I thought it was a good promo. He actually cuts a great promo. And that was it. That was uh, this week's NXT. And uh, I thought it was a pretty good show here. Obviously, um, a lot of the, more of the stuff was focused on the interviews and stuff like that, but I thought this was a good show overall. I liked the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team match. I liked the interviews that they did, and I liked uh, Ty Dillinger versus Sami Zayn. It was really cool to see Sami Zayn back in NXT. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Make sure to subscribe to this video, not to, not this YouTube channel, um, for like, future content because I'm going to be uploading a lot of stuff. And uh, Subscribe to all my other channels down below and other people's channels and the Facebooks. Make sure to check out all that stuff down below. And that's pretty much it, guys. Talk to you later.